going to call the meeting to order at 7.07. <clears throat> okay, and we'll do a quick roll call. We have um, myself, Anne Bithinius, will be chairing. We have Dan Murray, Nick Downs, John Johnson, Steve Penner. Um, no one needs to be elevated because everybody's full members then, right? So, um, do we have an acceptance of the agenda for the evening for Tuesday, November 15th, 2022? So moved. So moved. Second. I think Dan seconded it already. Dan seconds. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye or a wave of the hand. Aye. <laughs> aye. Okay. Opposed? None. Okay. So the agenda is approved. We'll proceed um, with the minutes of the June 14th, 2022 meeting. So I read through them, but I wasn't at the meeting. So I did ask um, Ty about the letter from the Saddle Ridge Association. So she's gonna get us an update on that post meeting. So I would also what? just ask that a small correction be made to page three, um, the second to last paragraph, uh, <clears throat> the last sentence of that paragraph. Um, it says he did not feel this increase would not cause much harm. I think it's supposed to say it would not cause much harm. I don't know if it's supposed to be a double negative there. Um, okay. He did not. He, oh, he did not he feel, did this, not increase feel this increase would cause much harm. Yeah. 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 I think if we could just eliminate that, not. Yeah. Did you I get that? A, I got yeah. it. I would make yeah. a motion to accept okay. these minutes as amended. Second. Okay. I heard the second was John. Yep. Right. Or, yep. John. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? Hearing none, we'll approve the minutes and um, we will recess the meeting and convene the hearing for application 02-22. Paul and Angela, help Yeager. me out here. Yeager. Yeager. Yeager of 38 Davis Road, map 16, block 23, lot five. They're looking for relief from section 3240, area and dimensional standards for the construction of a 12 foot by 12 foot study. Okay, so your packet had um, the Republican-American notice that it, the legal notice was published, as well as certified mail receipts from three adjoining property owners. So, Paul, would you like to tell us about the project? Yeah, well, um, my wife and I fell in love with this house, house, old school house, uh, a couple of years back, and it was in total disrepair. Uh, we spent a lot of time in making it in, in, into a livable home and um it's um i mean we 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 love it we love it here it's uh it's great for us we're both retired now and um it's some place that we want to be able to spend a lot more time and, and and live here you know for as long as we can um putting on a uh small study edition would just be make the house more livable. It'll just give us that little bit more space that we need, a um, little bit more storage, just uh, uh, you know, an area on the main floor that we could 
relax and not have to use the uh, the, the loft as much. But uh, um, we we situating it in an area where it's um, it's the furthest away. If you if you you know saw the plan, it's the furthest area away from any of the setbacks. Um, and you know if we had more more property, more land, that would it wouldn't be an issue. Um, you know, but with the constraints because of the size of the lot, that's really our hardship. And that's uh, what we're looking for relief of. Okay. All right. Um, just give us a moment to take a look here at the documents provided. So is the existing house one bedroom or two bedroom? One. One. The septic system that was installed is a two bedroom system. So we don't plan on using that for a, a bedroom, but in the future, if somebody else uh, did convert that to a bedroom, it would still be manageable for the septic system. Right. What is the lot size? Uh, 85 feet square. <laughs> so about a little over 7,000 square feet. Uh, yeah. Town has it as 0. 0.2 acres. Yes. Uh, seven, a little less than thousand. that. Yeah. That's correct. What we don't have is a reference map that shows the location, the footprint of your house with the outbuilding that is on your property that I saw today? Um, it's in the packet. I think that's, the is that the thing? shed, Dan? Yes, that's the shed. Yeah, where is that? Where is the shed? No, where no, where? I'm looking, I, I see, it, I, it, I see a, a septic map. Lower Lower left corner of this page, Dan. Uh, which page are you on? Which number? Uh, I'm not sure which page that is, but it's the one that has the plot plan on it. Okay, I don't have that. Huh. So. Damn it! I don't have the I don't have the page number on this. Um, yeah, I don't see page numbers, but I well, know. I have agenda items five point one, and it says plans. And when I and then it only has three pages. Yeah, I don't know if I have the full site plan either. When I go to plans, I only get three. It's like a kind of a zoomed in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it plan. doesn't show the. Uh... Right. I have it's... it pulled up here on the um, the Kent Town website for tonight's meeting, and that's what I'm looking at right here. I'm maybe the shared, maybe the shared drive didn't have it. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. You... Okay. Oh, thank you, Ty. Oh, so it was on the septic plan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That I don't have. The uh, the shed was that was that a recent uh, uh, addition? Oh, uh, within probably the past year, year and a half. And did that require a variance? No, it did not. What is the it, it, the... it, it, it it's a hundred square feet. It did not require a variance or a permit. So okay. The size. Okay. okay. Good. Can we go. Can you go back to that? <laughs> 
I'm glad Ty is good at this. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I just wanna take, can you like zoom out? I wanna just take a screenshot for myself or maybe I should just go to the town page. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay, so. All right, I got a, I got a, I took a screenshot for myself. Okay. Thanks, Ty. Better wait. <clears throat> Better wait. Don't go away. Uh, okay, Ty. Um, what is the allowable uh, lot coverage? Oh, that's gotta be right. I don't have that in front of me. Um, um, I apologize. I don't have that in front of me. Okay, I didn't look it up. It must be around ten percent. That seems right. But the existing is 9.6 and the proposed is 11.6. So we're talking about something in between those. So that's part of the nonconformity. Right. Uh, it is an unusual, I mean, it's an unusual property, right? It was right. a schoolhouse at one point, yeah. the town. Yeah, it was built in the early 1920s. It was yeah. uh, granted while the Cara Davis was the original owner of the property who sold the town of Kent, the property, I believe it was for a dollar to build the schoolhouse, mm -hmm. which it was for a number of years. Right. Um, does anyone else from the board have any questions before I hear from the audience? Just so, so we're clear, we're, they're seeking a variance for setbacks for front and, and side yard setbacks. And it looks like we would also have to grant one for or for um, lot coverage? Yeah. For the coverage of the principal building, yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, the actual addition, does that conform to the setbacks for the lot? So am I just looking for the variance for the lot coverage? I think it's a pre-existing... That's why I mean, it is pre-existing non-conforming, and and it has it has uh, additional problems with the front setback as well, because you're adding to the non-conformity. Yes. Right. So when you have a pre-existing non-conforming property, any alteration to that is considered to be increasing the non-conformity. I understand that. So, um, and it looks like the right side property line, it would be four feet from, so that's definitely, yes. yeah. Steve, did you get your question answered fully? Well, it looks like he's meeting the side yard setback. It's 61 feet to the side yard. On the left side, not the right <laughs> side on the left side right side is only four well yeah but well that's not... to the existing building yeah that's right. to the existing it would be building. 24 to the addition 24 to the addition okay he's not he's not um going towards that mm -hmm. I, i'm not sure how much he's going to be coming towards the front yard entirely it looks like he has 17 feet currently and then this this thing would be maybe 23 24 feet off the uh, uh to the front of the addition from the front property line would be uh 29 feet 29 feet. right and so that's supposed to be ideally 40 
So that's what I was saying. It, it meets, it doesn't meet the, the front uh, setback. Yeah, so it's the front setback that seems to be the issue here. Okay, that's what I was asking. And then, yeah. right. I'm just trying to find the lot coverage. And the coverage issue. Yes. Okay, so maximum coverage 10%. Okay. Okay. I'm still getting used to these new regulations. <laughs> I'm used to the old ones. Yeah. Building yeah. coverage. Looking at the uh, at the the plan, uh, the the drawing the plan, uh, it looks like they they set the proposed study back as far from the front line as they could, and still have a door, you know, into the main part of the house. Right. The rest of that back corner is stairs and bathroom. Right. Did you want to, are you ready to hear from the adjoining property owner? Yeah. Okay. John and Kim, would you like to speak? Yes. Can you hear us? Yes, thank you. First Can, off. State your address for us, please. 55 Seeger Mountain Road. Thank you. First off, uh, we went to town hall and we reviewed all the documents we can't find an actual drawing that makes sense. How many feet from our property line is the existing or the addition? We went to town hall, both places. Shouldn't there be a more graphic uh, drawing? Something more explanatory? And who, who penned in those measurements? A surveyor, they look like they're just inked in. Like we have a septic plan, but it doesn't show all the property lines. And the applications filled up by the applicant, mm -hmm. write anything in there. So shouldn't there be a more thorough drawing? Survey. It seems to me. Also, it's a tiny building on a tiny footprint. And it, to add that decreases from the historical quality. And it's right above our septic. Their septic is right above our well. Oh, wow. yeah. So adding a bedroom, I'm going to go on the assumption that loft could be a bedroom for grandchildren. Then you load up the other bedroom. The quality of the drinking water can't. You know what I mean? It's directly above the well. No one's giving any information, but they're penning in numbers. There should be a an organized drawing that can be legible. A survey. Available. An official survey. It's kind of important when it's right above our well. So when you say right above your well, you're saying that it it's the property sits up. Yeah, they're uphill. An elevation above, okay. So water runs downhill, as we know. Yeah. And then you're adding bedrooms. And it's a small lot, a small house. Why mess with it? Right. Buy a bigger house if you want to. It makes me uncomfortable, even since they've moved in. I would like a water test. I would like to know how the quality of my water is. 
there was an old lady living there before that used minimal water. Now all of a sudden it's a two bedroom. It just seems like putting a lot of things on a small postage stamp. And I'd like to see some real paperwork to show measurements and that's very vague. And I went to town hall for an hour and missed work With and Ms. they couldn't. Well, Miss Kern, who's on this site, right? She's on the, in the meeting. She knows we, we were speaking to her this morning. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> it's not like he's building a small deck. He's adding a bedroom. And we couldn't find anything that showed us these setbacks. And, yeah. And neither could Miss uh, Kern, which I know she's part of this meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, she'll tell you we were there for, I was there for two hours. I even went to the town clerk's office to try and figure that out. But, uh, uh, Darlene Brady's office. Nobody seems to have any. I don't like the idea of numbers penciled in. Who pencils them? That, that yeah. was actually, so, so after I spoke with you this morning and we went over the file together, I did reach out to the applicant to, you know, do a more complete application. So we worked together to get better measurements on there. So that's my writing in conjunction oh. with speaking with the applicant to get the best measurements possible for your survey. Um, to speak to the, the well and the septic, Kathy Weber of the health department did approve this plan back in June of 2022. And I think that's part of your packet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that your concern about the septic is not a concern because it was approved by the department health. I heard you. Yeah. And she has um, measurements on that plan as well. So how many feet is the gable end of his house and the new addition to our property line? How much of a, an acceptance, how much leeway does he want? So I'm trying to- 30 feet determine where your looks like from your property line uh it would be 44 feet according to this uh plan that we were shown tonight and when was the last time it was surveyed last time it was sorry i didn't hear you when was the last time a surveyor assessed the property lines 2019 yeah, I was going to say probably at a transfer. There's no paperwork for that. Look for it today. There's no receipt of payment or. <laughs> Why is that funny? Um, you'll have to address the me as chair, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why does he think that's funny? Funny. Let that. I, I'm not sure that um, if he if the applicant had a survey done in conjunction with purchasing his property, it wouldn't necessarily need to be filed at town hall. Okay. Okay, because we find it. Yeah, he put a fence along the property line, assuming whatever i don't know no one ever asked us so who knows you know what i mean right so the you know issues that have to do with um the determination of the property line would would not be the purview of this board in terms of the fence that exists or things yeah i know that yeah. Okay. But I'd like to, someone should talk to us when things like that are done. 
Well, so the process for the the appeal is that the property owners are notified, which I know we do have the certified receipt back that you were notified of um, the application that was pending. And, and I think that's why you're here tonight. So, you know, we're, we're hearing what you're saying and what your concerns are. Okay. Well, I think the bottom line is, and we're concerned because we feel like we sought out to try and find more information and there doesn't seem to be any paperwork that shows us this. Um, so that's, that's a concern. So the, you're, I'm not sure what, what paperwork is it that you're looking for specifically that you're not wanted to know the, we wanted to know how far the existing house is from our property line. Right. And then how far the side of his building will be from the property line. There's no, is it centered on his house or? There's the, no detail, it's very vague. So the measurements that are on the, I guess it's the approved septic plan. We saw that. Okay. But it doesn't There's nothing there. Well. There's something that was inked in today that we haven't seen. Yeah, that happened after we left, I guess. Okay. This is all we have, and I don't know if you can see this. No, you, I don't have your. It's yeah. just a septic plan that everyone else has. Yeah. But... Okay. And that has no measurements on it. It doesn't show the shed. It doesn't. It, why doesn't it show all three pro property lines? Like a professional. Ours doesn't even show the shed. Is what we saw today. So, but Ms. Kern is saying that that was put in, you know, later today. But no, I think the step. The shed was all, already on the septic plan, is that correct? Not on what I have. So Ty shared a screen earlier showing. Yes, we didn't get we that. We didn't get that. That was made today. Um, Let Ms. Kern tell us. Yeah, yes. that's new. We, don't, we didn't get that. So was the shed entered on after the packet? We don't know, do we? No, I'm I'm asking. Was that part so, of the? So what I did after speaking with um, the abutting neighbors mm -hmm. today was I, I did agree with them that the application and what had been presented, you know, is part of the packet in the office was lacking some information. So I reached out to the applicant and had the additional information that they were requesting, requesting added to that sketch. Okay. So it's really the original septic sketch that he submitted with a Which little bit have... of additional measurements on it. Okay, but there are some measurements on that sketch in the plan that I have. The original one did have some measurements. The The second one has even more measurements as it pertains to the abutters property because that was their main concern was how far it was going to be from their lines. From their lines. So okay. we were trying to make it very clear so they understood what the distances were. Well, we just saw that now. <laughs> well, but the, the plan that was on file already had the shed on it, had um, some measurements on it as well. You know, John held that up at the beginning. That's the one that was distributed to us um, as a board uh, last week sometime. That's correct. So, yeah, so, you and, know. And this, and this new one is now part of the public record as well. Everybody can view that also. So that is now on the town website. Okay. It's all there. 
Yeah. Okay. That, that just happened today. Right. Cool. As a re, as a result oh. of our discussion. Our discussion. Yep. Well, that's so there's an enhanced version now, but what I'm saying is that even the original application did show the shed. It did show measurements to property lines. The enhanced version that is up there now shows specific to your property, calling that out more clearly. I don't a, see a shed on the uh, septic plan. We got That's the only map we have, and there's no shed. It just shows the, the new addition with the applicant's measurements. Yeah, that's why we're confused. John, can can you hold up yours again? You showed. No, I think she's talking to the owner. Oh, sorry. No, John Johnson, one of the board members, has the map that was in the packet. Um, I can't and know where it should be. Well, the shed is, you know, on the left hand side of the screen. I'm. I know it's. I don't expect you to be able to read the details, but my point was just to show that this was what was distributed to the committee um, last week. Yeah. So that is a do the document that's part of the packet that was already in existence. But I, you know, I understand that you were looking for some more information specific to how it um is situated with regard to your property line specifically absolutely and, I, yes. and, and there's what was that printed every page yeah. so. john let the show okay uh ty you i assume you scaled these out for measurements i i took the measurements that the applicant applicant gave me Okay. And did they scale closely? I didn't. I, didn't I think we should let Paul answer how yeah, he came okay. up with his measurements. The septic plan that you're looking at is a septic as built. That was all certified by the engineer. The right. measurements that we added there are knowing the size of the existing building. The setbacks uh, uh, from the original A2 survey that I had done before I bought the property. Um, and then adding the size of the building with the setback that was shown, giving the distance to the rear setback lines and the side setback line. So. so there is an A2 survey? Yes, there is. Um, the, does anyone from the board have any further questions? I'm not hearing any. Um, so are There's, we ready it, to close? There does seem to be a discrepancy on some of these um, maps that are being presented. Um, yeah. The updated one showing a 61 foot uh, setback. And then there's another one that shows a 49 foot setback. Um, which I guess is the 61 minus 12. Um, so there's there's does seem to be a little bit of conflicting um, numbers yeah. on some of these maps. The A2 survey would probably be helpful for us to see. And throw in a measurement to our well. Uh, or well would not be on the A2 survey. Yeah. But they're 
but the uh, septic drawing would have been reviewed to make sure that it would be oh, yeah. far, far enough away. Yeah. Torrington be, Area Health District has already reviewed and approved. Measuring. No one asked us to come and measure. So Torrington Area Health District would have um, the locations of those yeah. we have items on your property as well. Oh God, we'll, we'll contact them. That's Kathy Weber. We all know how that goes. Well, now we can't. I, I do think the cross their T's and dot our I's that having that A2 survey would. would yeah, uh, a legible plan. Yep. Something we can comprehend. But as, but I want you to just to manage the expectations that as a board, we can't rule on the septic viability or uh, yes. that, that is the Torrington Area Health District and they have, have reviewed. So questions with regard to that would be, have to be addressed through yeah. that channel. And we all that. So. We're, we're just frustrated because we've looked at so many things that really don't make sense to us. And it has, uh, I'm sorry, his name was John. He was saying, it just seems like there's discrepancies. That's confusing us. Right. So. Okay, just for the record, that was not me, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, that was Steve. That, 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 was, that no. was. That was who? That was Steve. And then, but John also had said that um, having the A2 survey. Yeah. Would be. Included would yeah. be. So Anne, I'm thinking of moving that we, uh, what would, what's the official ZBA term? Recess the hearing? Yeah. Until we receive an A2 survey? Uh, so can we hold it open or do we have, yeah. You can hold it open. Yep. So we can hold it open to receive additional information. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Would there be any other information that we want, Anne? Or board members, I th I think that would do it for me with with setbacks on an A two. Right, Nick, you look like you wanted to that. say yeah, something. I think we should look at it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So. So, so we, we have to. Um, so we're not gonna close the hearing then. We're gonna recess the hearing. We're gonna hold it open to receive the additional information and continue it at the Excuse next. Excuse me. Yeah. Is there a historical society? Um, uh, out. It's an old schoolhouse. There is a volunteer organization that is a historical society in Kent, but um, this is not in a a, a zone that it would require sorry, review. Okay, sorry, Ann. We no, no, that's okay. Yeah, we're, like I said, we're just trying to make sense of things right. that we haven't personally seen, so. So um, what the board is, is saying is that they want to receive additional information before making a decision, so. Okay. So I, I move that we recess the hear the public hearing uh, until our next regular meeting um, and uh, and reception of an A two survey. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Nick Downs with the second. All those in favor, signify aye. by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Any abstentions? Rich, you're on mute. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, that adjourns that meeting for, or that hearing for this evening. 
Um, Paul, are you clear on, on what yep. we're doing? Okay. So um, you can provide that to Tay and um, she'll circulate it to us. And yes, I will. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you for your time. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Kim and John. Thank you. All right. Um, moving on. So where are we at? Oh, the next agenda item is the approval of the 2023 regular meeting schedule. So we have our standard dates. We don't meet in February. So we have January 10th, March 14th, April 11th, May 9th, June 13th, July 11th, August 8th, September 12th, October 10th, November 14th, and December 12th. Move to accept. Okay. Second by John Johnson. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Extensions? Unanimous vote on that. And um, we're elected officers again. I feel like we just Every did year. that. <laughs> I like the ones we have. <laughs> So do we have a full slate of officers? Because I think this is what I ran into when I couldn't make the meeting in June. I thought I could roll it over <laughs> to the yeah. next person and there was. So I don't have, all I have is you as chairman on the list that I have inherited. Yeah. Um, I don't have any vice chair. I don't have any secretary. I don't have any any of that stuff. So yeah, that's um, what I ran into. <laughs> yeah, I so that the vice chair would take over, and there was no vice chair. <laughs> so I, think I thought we, we had elected to... Dan uh, Murray the vice chair. I thought we had done that early on. Maybe you weren't there, Ann. I don't Does know. Does anybody else have that recollection, or am I dreaming? Well, actually, it was, I don't recall wasn't. that, Nick. I you can do part. it now if we you want. Now, though. <laughs> Are we electing them for the coming year? <clears throat> yes. Sorry. Yeah. 2023. So, um, what are the Steve duties could... of treasurer and secretary um, on this well, board? Well, Steve, you could be chair if you'd like. No. <laughs> I would not like that. <laughs> I mean, um, do, do we actually have to vote for a treasurer and a secretary? For this? I don't know that you would require one. I'd have to check your bylaws if that's something. Another? But a secretary sometimes would send out, you know, letters or something, you know, have correspondence you of some sort. But I, you guys don't really meet that often or need. I don't think it's needed, but no, a vice I, chair our, might our be a good idea. Yeah, our budget certainly doesn't call for a treasurer. Um, nope. And well, we don't correspond with anyone. Except for you. Well, didn't didn't so didn't Donna wasn't she the secretary? Well, she was the clerk. She was the clerk, which is different. Well, it says it says clerk slash secretary on on minutes. Because yeah, that I have. Because she would perform that role as the clerk. Right, she and she she role. may be coming back to do that as well. So right. um, you know. <laughs> It'll, it'll all fall into place, but that's not really a, an elected position. That's a paid position. <laughs> it's not an officer. I, I think I, I move that we, uh, nom I move to nominate Dan Murray as the, uh, as the backup chair, the assistant chair. Vice chair. Vice, Vice chair. chair. Vice. There we go. Right. And, and as the chairman, right? Right, right. <laughs> yes. Thought that was quid pro quo, but yeah, I I thought the purpose of this is that we need somebody to back up Ann if well, when she's out gallivanting. It's a full right? election of officers, but <laughs> if you'll have me again, I'll do it again. I'll second this uh, slate of officers. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. 
abstentions <laughs> hearing none possible <laughs> for <board>, dan <laughs> i'm thinking about that <laughs> Um, then communications, the monthly financials are there July through August, I think, is it? Right? Yeah, that's all we had. That's all we had July through August. Yeah. Big budget. Um, yeah. Nothing happening. Nothing. Yeah. Zero percent, zero percent. Um, and the, um, Connecticut Federation of PNG, the quarterly newsletter was included for your delight in reading. So, all right. Anything else for the board? I have I have a question, uh, yeah. Ty. In sure. the, the quarterly newsletter, um, uh, time limits on special except, exceptions, but our um, our approvals are not special exceptions, right? No, I mean, some CBAs do deal with special exceptions. Kent, Kent CBA is not given that power. Right, okay, you thank will you. Be, you will be having coming up soon a, um, a motor vehicle um, location approval. So that is still under your purview. I'm sure it doesn't come up often, but it's going to. Um, but that and variances for Kent, Kent CBA. Okay. What do you mean a motor vehicle approval? We've done two motor vehicles, uh, Bulls Bridge and uh, Kent, uh, Kent uh, Berkshire Transformer location. We did both. Oh, 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 for a repair facility. <laughs> Repairs, okay. yes, exactly. Yes, okay. It comes through the DMV down to you. So. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we've done actually three, Nick. Oh, I'm surprised. I didn't realize. What was the third? Uh, Bulls Bridge in, in the old Chrysler or in the oh, old Chrysler. Yeah. Oh. That iron okay. iron horse Break or whatever it. it is. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> That's my cat howling. <laughs> <laughs> Better than it was with you. It's not me. She apparently has decided the meeting is over. <laughs> All right. So are we meeting then in December? On we this will be matter, in December, because we will have to issue a decision on the application that we. Well, we continue the have. hearing and then, right? Okay. Yeah, and we'll reconvene that hearing um, and have to make a decision at that time. So. Okay. So I'll make a motion still. What's that? What did you say, Nick? I was talking about the suspense of it all. Oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Make your Cliffhanger. <laughs> Cliffhanger, yep. So I just, you know, we hadn't met for so long. I missed you all. I thought we should do it twice, two months in a row. <laughs> no, right. I think, um, you know, we should have a little bit more official measurements before we issue a decision so it's all good all right all right let Motion me just say adjourn. i am What's very that? happy to attend a meeting and not be running it <laughs> <laughs> i like this i move we adjourn all right some would say we don't need a motion for that but <laughs> <laughs> sounds good we have one <laughs> but we have one there we go all right. See you in a month, everybody. See you in a month. Sure. Be Happy well. Happy Thanksgiving. Nice. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Right. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night. Bye. Hi, nice to Bye. have you here. <laughs> here. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.